I went to Singapore last winter and in this video I'd like to show you a few quick scenes and also cover a couple of stationery and fountain pen stores that are really interesting. I originally included my interview with Daryl at Musubi, but it got a little long. So if you are interested in Musubi journals, please check out that separate video. I fell in love with Singapore. I really enjoyed meeting many people there, the food, and of course the beautiful scenery. And if you're into shopping, Singapore is the place to be. This is the Eon Orchard Mall. And maybe a mall is a bit of an understatement. It's kind of a luxury experience. And here you'll find the very luxurious Aesthetic Bay Fountain Pen Store. And to be honest with you, some of these pens were so esoteric and rare, I knew very little about them. Welcome to Aesthetic Bay. Mr. Tam Fung Kum is a collector himself and absolutely adores Nakaya. At any one time, he carries over a hundred different Nakaya. Most Japanese stores are unable to do that. Before Nakaya was sold outside of Platinum, he convinced Mr. Nakata to allow him to sell Nakayas. He is the first retailer to sell Nakayas, and he has a sell certificate to prove it. Check out their website for their deep selection of Nakayas and other luxury brands. A person I met on Instagram very kindly volunteered to show me around the historic area of Singapore to include the National Gallery, Singapore. It houses one of the largest collections of Southeast Asian modern art. It's an incredibly interesting building as it houses both the former Supreme Court and the former City Hall. So it's a combination of an architecturally interesting building, an historically interesting building, and it houses a wonderful art collection. This was my favorite painting and it's done by Raden Saleh. From their top floor is a stunning view of downtown Singapore and of their outdoor art display, these bubble things. And then the beautiful Marina Bay Sands Hotel. And then you get a view of what happens when I'm not paying attention and start filming the floor. She then took me to a place where a lady in a green skirt and green tights fell through the roof. This is Think Stationery Store and they have all kinds of stationery to include a large selection of ink. They're very strong in Japanese ink because they kind of have a inkmeister there. He's Japanese and is very well versed in all kinds of ink. Here's my friend trying out a Sailor Yurameku ink with a Hokoro dip pen. I live in Japan and he convinced me to buy this ink. It's a beautiful color and I wasn't sure when I'd be able to get around to getting this ink here in Tokyo. And I did mention I live in Japan. So I flew out to Singapore to buy this beautiful Japanese pent ink. But that's not all besides this grand oolong tea, which is very, very good. I also bought this Japanese ink. Number 13, Seiheki. We truly live in an interconnected international world. Across the street from the beautiful Raffles Hotel, which is, by the way, famous for inventing the Singapore sling, is the center of books and arts. It's a cool little funky building with like these kind of old fashioned bookstores and like stationery stores. I wandered around until I finally ran into Fook Hing Trading, a real find. It has the luxury brands like Mont Blanc, Cartier, and Penider, but it also had a very deep selection of what I call everyday use pens and inks. Jimmy Wong is the third generation owner, and you can tell that they really have a deep knowledge about fountain pens and paper and ink. Danny is their sales manager, and he helped me buy, well, like everything. 
I told him I was interested in an Iron Gall ink, and yeah, I got one. This is the real deal, and it's from Italy. He said it wasn't very popular in Singapore, so he gave me a discount, but it's like the real deal. It's an Iron Gall ink, and it, it acts just like one. I may have to do a future video on it. And then I got a couple inks from Australia from Van Diemen's. I mean, who doesn't want to have an ink called Black Tongue Spider Orchid? I got a couple of Wearing Goal inks. They really get you with their names. I think they have the most imaginative names and inks matched up with it. Here Alice looks slightly deranged popping in and out of this bottle of Alice ink. And then I got my funnest, kitschiest pen that I own. It's Opus 88's 2023 New Year Rabbit Pen. I mean, it's a rabbit holding a fountain pen. I mean, everybody should own one of those. So not only is Singapore a great place to visit, it's also a great place to take care of your fountain pen itch. Please check out my interview with Daryl from Musubi. It may be of special interest for people who are really into paper. Musubi will be at the San Francisco Pen Show, and so will I. Please come up and say hi.